So I want to talk to you about a culture of excuses because we've lost our way in so many different areas, but one of them is excuses. We've allowed ourselves to become mediocre. We've allowed ourselves to just get away with making up rubbish and excusing ourselves the entire time. And whether that's down to body image, whether that's down to a failure at work, failure in relationships, we've just lost that hard talk, that ability to look in the mirror and go, do you know what, we're fucking up here. And do you know why we've lost that? Because we've got people in the media, people in medical services, we've got people all over the place cheerleading mediocrity, cheerleading obesity, cheerleading eat, um, you know, eating disorders, all this kind of stuff, promoting it, saying that, you know what, it's okay, you're so brave. And it's not, it's not correct. Obviously nobody should tell you how you should look or what you should do. You need people, good people around you to be honest with you and say, actually, do you know what? It's not right, you are unhealthy. The reason you're failing at a relationship is because you're not committed. The reason you're failing at work is because you're lazy, you're late, you're not committed. But we don't do that because we don't want to be harsh to anyone. And the fact of the matter is, the difference between people who succeed and people who don't is that ability to be really honest with yourself and have that self-awareness and surround yourself with really good people. I think one of the most important things to remember is that we're all born with those two voices in our head. One saying do, one saying don't. One saying relax, one saying work. And in some people, it is much louder on the positive side than it is the negative side. In others, it is just all about quitting. That's all they get. Every time they have a tough day, they quit. They blame everything. And people allow themselves to become defined by what's happened to them in their childhood, by what's happened to them in their life, what's happened to them by the government, by, you know, at surrounding situations. And the fact of the matter is, no one's going to fucking rescue you. There is no white knight that's going to come over the hill to save you. Only you can fix you. And the only way you're going to do that is by having tough talk. So if you're overweight, right, and you know you're overweight, it's about looking at yourself in the mirror and going, do you know what, I'm fucking unhealthy, I need to sort this out. If you are in a bad relationship, it's about you sitting, standing there and going, do you know what, I need to sort this out. If you are failing or hate your job or hate anything about your life, you need to look at yourself first and foremost. Stop looking out, stop making excuses. Stop saying that, you know, the government fucked me over here and I can't stop eating fast food and I can't do this, I can't do that. Only you are gonna fix you. And it's important to surround yourself with good people that help you make those changes. So when you're making excuses, somebody in your friendship group, in your family will cut in and say, listen, you're talking shit. You know you're talking shit. And the fact of the matter is that some people will succeed and some people won't. There are, life is full of quitters and there always will be. But so many people make excuses, are allowed to make excuses, as I said, by people in the media. Just all this outrage. Everyone's fucking outraged about everything. But some, sometimes you've got to ignore that outrage and actually go, do they have a point? Do they have a point? And I think cheerleading obesity, cheerleading eating disorders, cheerleading mediocrity, to giving, taking part medals, saying that, you know, it's okay, we're all average, it's okay if I'm okay. It's not. No one ever succeeded in life, got what they wanted out of life, achieved by being fucking mediocre. And it's about ignoring those excuses and look at yourself, look at yourself and write down, even if you write down in your notes, you know, what, what are you making excuses about? You know, what are you defined by? Are you defined by your poor upbringing, bad parenting, you know, uh, no income, no money, no, no nothing, whatever it is, and fucking own that stuff and understand how you're gonna get out of it because nobody is gonna save you. And there's no amount of complaining, hollering, social media commenting, ganging up's gonna make any difference. And as I said, nobody should go and tell you that you're a failure, but you know, what you're about. And there's a great lesson in life I learned. You can lie to everyone else and you can't lie to yourself. And throughout my career, I knew when I put the work in and when I hadn't. I knew when I prepared for something and, I, and um, when I hadn't, when I put the effort in. And you can put a brave face on it, you can tell your friends, you can lie to your missus, you can lie to everyone else, but only you know what you're about. And it doesn't matter how many people pump your tires up and say the way you look is fucking brilliant. If you're unhealthy and you're obese, you're fucking obese and it doesn't change anything. If you've got an eating disorder and you're trying to hide it, you can't hide it. If you are fucking lazy, uneducated, if you are falling behind, there's no point in putting bravado on it because there is a way out of all this stuff and it's by working hard, being honest and cutting the fucking excuses and being aware of people who massage you and really favour the people who have the tough talk and avoid cheerleaders at all costs, unless they're fit.